So exciting day today. You can see we're below a little spillway here. And this is literally where I learned to fish. Every wired to fish video accumulated from this spot right here. I rode my bike down here as a kid all the time. And we're gonna do something, like I said, very exciting today and get an underwater camera down there so I can actually see what I've always fished as a little kid, just what species live down there, what the rocks look like. You know, we have a unique opportunity in that the dam is off right now, the water is low, so there's gonna be a good density of fish, at least we suspect down here. So, yeah, we're just gonna drop this thing in, cruise it around, count the species, see how many jigs are on the bottom, and maybe throw this jerk bait near them and see if we can catch a few. Okay, so, so far we've seen piles of walleyes and they're all like really nice walleyes. Like they're kind of railed out. I mean, they're pretty far away from post spawn at this moment, but there's not, they're not small walleyes. They're pretty nice walleyes. Handful of smallmouth. <laughs> catfish? Yeah. All right, we got a catfish, which means this is the farthest north I have ever heard of or seen a catfish on the Mississippi River. So we got a catfish, a couple walleyes, a couple smallmouth, pike, some bait fish, and a snapping turtle. Super cool footage of a snapping turtle doing its thing, hanging out in the current and just rooting around on the bottom. The thing looks insane. But uh, we're still looking for a muskie, because there are plenty of muskies here. We're looking for buffalo fish, suckers, maybe a largemouth. There's a handful of largemouth. There's also some panfish, so. We're just going to keep exploring and uh, keep adding to the species list. Thank you. 
switching spots. We explored the face of the dam where I thought maybe there'd be the most activity. Saw a ton of stuff, like I was saying. Two bonuses on that last run. We got to see a buffalo fish, like I was hoping we'd see. I was hoping maybe we'd see a school. Who knows, maybe we will. Uh, and a soft shell turtle, which is super cool. Uh, up here, they're really only in the river, so it's really cool to see them down deep. They're, they're extremely fast, so we definitely got to see that in person. But now we're, we're looking in this little eddy here. There's a current break, obviously. It gets real nice and deep here. So we're gonna see uh, if we see any other kinds of fish over here, something different. I simply cannot get enough of that footage. So now we gotta put the camera in a bunch of other places uh, and see what lives there. It's so fascinating to finally be able to see, you know, the things that you fished, you know, growing up. You pictured how deep it was or what the rocks look like, just how many fish are actually down there. Well, now we get a pretty good indication. So we're gonna go put the camera down a bunch of other places and uh, see what lives there. Well, let's check it out. All right, so I do I do not know what's going on right here. I don't know if you can see this. This is all tiny minnows, like an insane amount of tiny minnows. Look at they're like all that is little minnows. So like that whole current seam is just minnows, little tiny minnows. I don't know what kind of minnows they are. So. I've never seen this before. This is really weird. I'll, I'll show you. individual inspection they appear to be baby white suckers they have a little downward facing mouth oh there's a bowfin just hanging out there but there's just millions of baby suckers tiny little baby fry suckers 